Hello everyone and welcome to the INFS channel where you will find a treasure of knowledge on fitness, nutrition and health. Through this video today, we are going to let you all know the effects of exercise on food intake and satiety. Adherence is the decisive factor in any dieting strategy's success. Adherence is vastly affected by satiety. So any strategy that can help us manage hunger will thereby prove adherence. Recent studies confirm that exercise alters the levels of hormones that deal with appetite and might have a positive effect. So, how does exercise affect appetite in general? High intensity aerobic exercise seems to have greater effects on temporary appetite suppression due to certain hormone alterations in lean individuals. Overweight individuals do not seem to show any such response when you compare several studies. There are some studies with varying opinions in the latter case. In lean individuals, the suppression seems to be temporary and appetite reaches the basal level in an hour approximately. However, even high-intensity aerobic exercise do not seem to affect overall calorie consumption per day in the short term. Chronic effects of exercise in lean and overweight individuals are extremely varying in results. This can be mostly attributed to the choice of poor comparative parameters to rely on. Also, methods like self-reporting of calorie consumption seem to be highly inaccurate, especially when the subjects are overweight or obese. Now, let's see what are the effects of exercise in relation to certain other factors. Gender and adiposity, that is fat variation in combination with acute exercise, do not seem to affect total caloric intake. In terms of chronic exercise, there are some reported variations that show women having greater hormonal variations. However, these studies are poorly structured with a short time period, a poor choice in group selection, etc. To conclude, the overall evidence is in favor of the existence of temporary appetite suppression after high-intensity exercise in leaner individuals. Nothing else can be strongly said as of now. There is some evidence of better hunger mediation and suppression in obese diabetics, but researchers have only measured temporary effects. Resistance training in diabetics has shown positive effects on hunger perception and feeling of fullness. This study doesn't comment on total energy intake per day change. Here are some recommendations to help you all in maintaining good health. As hunger suppression effects of exercise are reported to be short-lived, all this data concludes to just one good application, and that is Incorporate exercise around the time that you are likely to binge on snacks or at a time when you may easily overeat. Though high-intensity aerobic exercise seems to have a strong correlation to appetite control, there are postulated pathways suggesting habitual resistance exercise that is more frequent, more than four times per week, may also give overall hunger mediation benefits. Exercise alone, aerobic or anaerobic, as a strategy to control weight without any other intervention in lifestyle and dietary habits does not seem to affect satiety levels and hence may prove very less effective for successful fat or weight loss. We hope all this information has helped you understand how exercise affects your food intake and satiety. Let us know in the comments what effects of exercise have you all observed on your hunger and food consumption. Also, links to the research and studies that we have considered in this video are mentioned in the description box below. Do like and share this video if you enjoyed watching it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We promise to keep bringing you more information on health, fitness and nutrition.